So the lymphatic system is the body's second circulatory system. And what it's there to do is to carry waste products away from the cells. So it's, it's there to help clean and, and allow the body to heal by removing stuff that doesn't belong. And it runs through the entire body. Uh, it's probably as long as, if not longer than, your blood circulatory system. Um, there's a lot of misunderstanding about what happens to the lymph. So the lymph is, is cleaning the garbage out. Where does it go? Anyone know? How does it leave the body? Through the blood. That's right. Um, she was here last year, but uh, yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot of people think, you know, it's, it's a completely separate thing, or they're, they're like, they're imagining how it gets out of the body. What happens is very simple. It comes up to the major lymph nodes here, and it dumps into the uh, major vein leading back to the heart, okay? So in fact, how many of you are familiar with skin brushing? Why, why do people brush their skin? So it all goes the same way? Increases circulation. Yeah, I mean, people actually say, well, you have to move the lymph because there's no lymph pump. You have to help by brushing everything. Really? You, like, like the body doesn't work unless we have a skin brush? <laughs> Does anybody believe that? Because that doesn't make any sense to me. You know, in fact, the lymphatic system does have a pump, and everyone's familiar with it. It's called the heart. Mm -hmm. Right, because everything pumps into the vein going back to the heart. When the heart pumps, when the heart beats, it's moving blood. And what else, and aside from pushing the blood out of the heart, what else is it doing? It creates a vacuum and it's pulling as well. So the lymph is being pulled by the heart. As it's pushing, it's pulling at the same time. Right, everything coming in is being pulled into the heart. Lymph, the lymphatic system is being pumped by the heart, okay? It also moves whenever we move. So even if you're spending 30 days fasting, do you get up to walk to the toilet sometimes? Do you walk over here? Every time you move your body, you're moving the lymph. Okay, you don't have to help it along. You don't, you, if you did nothing, it would still be moving. Okay, it still, it still moves no problem, even if someone's lying and you know, doing nothing. Now, if the body's really, really sluggish, maybe you can help it along with the massage, etc. But in a normally functioning body, there should be no reason to have to brush the skin or massage the body to move lymph, because it's moving all by itself, okay? So it's, it goes into the, to the heart. What do you think happens from there? Anyone know? Where does it go from there? Say again? Thoracic duct is what leads to the heart. That's the kidney. Goes to the kidneys, where it's filtered out through the blood, through the, through the urinary tract. Okay, your kidneys are filtering all of your blood 60 times per day on average. Okay, roughly every 24 minutes or so. Your kidneys are filtering all of your blood. And that's where the lymph is going. So it's being, you're peeing it out. Anyone ever see mucus in their, in their urine? No. If you haven't seen it before, you might see it while you're fasting. Okay, this is, this is what's coming through the lymphatic system. That's what's going on there. Now, let me address something here. This probably needs to be a separate video, but um, there's a lot of people these days, the last couple of years, talking about uh, kidney filtering, right? You can increase your kidney filtering by dry fasting or using herbs, right? Really? Because, I don't know, I was under the impression your kidneys were always filtering or you would be dead. Okay, your kidneys are filtering 24-7. Your entire life, they never stop filtering. Dry fasting doesn't make your kidneys filter more effectively. What does it do, though? Decreases the volume. Increases the volume. Decreases, Decreases the volume of blood. blood of urine, liquid, right? Blood as well. But what we're seeing is the urine, right? But what people say is, look, there's more sediment in my urine if I dry fast. My kidneys are are filtering more effectively. Well, there's a lot less urine because you're dehydrated, and so the, whatever's there is going to be much more obvious. Does this make sense? Your kidneys aren't... Do you think that making your body more dehydrated somehow makes your kidneys work better? It doesn't happen that way, okay? It's, a, it's absurd. It's absurd. But there are people out there swearing this is what's going on. Well, why wouldn't the kidneys eliminate in a proportionate ratio to 
the amount of solution. Like they're still going to excrete the same amount of solvent, same amount of uh, solid matter, even if there's a little bit of liquid. That's right. That's the point. So, so does it just hurt more? Like, well, it may hurt more, but it's going to be more evident when you look at the urine because there's the, it's a much more concentrated than it was with a greater volume of liquid. That's what I'm saying. The point is it looks like they're doing more because there's less urine. If you were to go, imagine you went from you know, two liters down to 200 milliliters, one-tenth the, the quantity. The same quantity of solute is going to look like it's much more present. That's what's happening, okay? That's exactly what's going on. So understand that the lymphatic system is still leaving the body through the kidneys, okay? And that it's being pumped by the heart, and it's cleaning the garbage from everywhere. Now, sometimes what happens is there are problems with the lymphatic system because it becomes overwhelmed. And so we have several people here who have, who've, uh, unfortunately, in fact, probably everyone here if not personally, at least secondhand, has had some experience with cancer. What you might not know is, you know, when you talk about um, stage one, stage two, stage one means it's localized. And stage two means it's, it's started to migrate somewhere else. And it usually migrates through the lymphatic system because the lymphatic system connects everything. And so often what happens is the second site, when cancer moves, it's in the lymphatic system somewhere. And sometimes it takes over the lymphatic system, right? So their, their lymphoma is cancer of the lymphatic system. And unfortunately, it's uh, more and more common. And it will likely continue to be more common as the planet becomes more and more toxic and the average body becomes more and more toxic, okay? Because the lymphatic system is now dealing with an increasing burden all the time, okay? So this is what's going on. Um, so that's the lymphatic system, and you know we don't again we don't really have to do anything most of the time, as long as we are resting as much as we can and sipping enough water, the right amount of water, not too much, not too little. Your body's going to be able to efficiently eliminate whatever it needs to, and so the result is everything works better, including your lymphatic system. It's really super important. If your lymphatic system is not working, your body has a much harder time detoxifying on an ongoing basis, which is what it should be able to do. But once the body is clean and well-functioning, we encounter toxic substances in, in the world today, especially, not so much in nature, but in the world we live in. But a clean, well-functioning system can out-process them efficiently and effectively. And that's the difference. Okay? The reason that, that most people uh, you know, get sicker and sicker over time is because their already overwhelmed and dehydrated bodies are simply incapable of dealing with the influx of toxins. If your lymphatic system is working properly, it's going to be much better able to do what it needs to do. But we don't really have to focus on it. We don't need to brush it. We don't need to sing to it. We don't need, you know, all we need to do is take the best care of the entire body and everything else works perfectly.